Bill McDermott had a farm. AI, 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 okay. That's really bad. But isn't it true that almost every ServiceNow announcement you hear these days is all about AI? And here's my confession. After being a software developer for 30 years, until recently, I didn't understand what it was that actually made something AI. I thought, maybe some other people may feel the same way. So here's what we're going to do in this video. First, we're going to go through the definition of AI that finally made it click for me. And then we're going to look at some of ServiceNow's top AI features. And we're going to discuss what it is that makes this special AI instead of just a normal feature that they're rolling out in a release. So think of it as ServiceNow and AI. 101. Let's jump into it. And on that farm he had a bot. AI, AI, oh. Okay, so what is AI really? Here's the easiest way to think about it. Traditional software, like the software I developed my entire career, is rules-based. Programmers give the system step-by-step -step instructions and it follows them. Exactly. AI is different. It learns patterns from data, and over time, it uses those patterns to create its own logic, logic that no programmer ever wrote to predict and recommend or respond. That's the difference. It's rules versus learning. And once you see it, you'll start spotting AI all over the ServiceNow platform. Now, before we dive into the specific features, let me quickly explain what's happening under the hood. Most people, when they hear AI, they think of ChatGPT. That's a large language model trained on a massive slice of the internet. Here's the key. ServiceNow has its own large language model. It's called the Now LLM. And instead of learning from the internet, it's been trained and tuned on business workflows and ServiceNow data. So if ChatGPT is like the generalist, then the Now LLM is a specialist that knows business and ServiceNow inside and out. Sometimes ServiceNow will also tap into external AI models like ChatGPT when it makes sense. But you don't have to worry about where the AI is coming from. The platform's controller manages it securely in the background. Okay, so with that foundation in mind, let's look at the first place that AI shows up in ServiceNow, Now Assist. If you've heard the buzz about ChatGPT, this is ServiceNow's version built right into the platform. It's generative AI a la ServiceNow. Here, I've got an incident record with a bunch of messy notes. Normally, I'd have to scroll through all of this to figure out what's happening. But with Now Assist, I just click the button and instantly it generates a clean professional summary. No more scrolling through the logs. The key points are right here, ready to share or update. And that's just one use case. Now Assist can also take a case description and draft a knowledge article, or let employees ask plain language questions like, why is my VPN disconnecting, and provide an answer instantly. Now here's why this is truly AI and not just another feature. A normal tool might follow templates or rules, but Now Assist is different. It learns from your organization's data and it creates new language on the fly, logic that no programmer ever wrote. That's the leap from automation to true AI. The value is simple. It's less typing, less searching, less re-explaining, and more time for solving problems. Speaking of solving problems, the next place that AI shows up in ServiceNow doesn't just generate, it predicts. Next up, predictive intelligence. Here's the idea. It learns from thousands of past records, spots patterns, and uses those patterns to predict how new records should be handled. So if a user creates a new incident and enters my VPN keeps disconnecting when I work from home, predictive intelligence can automatically populate the category, the subcategory and the assignment group that knows this belongs under network issues and it routes the incident straight to the right team. And here's why this is AI. A normal feature would need an admin to build out assignment rules. That's rules-based programming. Something like, if the word VPN appears, send it here. Predictive intelligence doesn't rely on rules. It learns from past data, it finds hidden patterns, and it applies them to new records. 
In other words, no programmer wrote the logic that you just saw. AI just discovered it. And it's not just for incidents. Predictive intelligence can also suggest related knowledge articles, recommend next steps based on what's worked before, even flag anomalies in monitoring data. So across IT, HR, or customer service, the platform can predict, recommend, and guide you faster. That matters because it saves analysts from repetitive triage, gets tickets to the right team quicker, reduces manual errors. Instead of figuring out where a ticket should go, people can get straight to solving it. And while predictive intelligence is about predicting the next right step, the next AI feature is all about finding the right information, even if you don't use the right words. Let's look at AI search. Here's the problem. Traditional search only matches keywords. If you don't type the exact words, or oftentimes if you misspell one, you might not find what you need. AI search is different. It doesn't just look for matching words. It uses language models to recognize patterns in how people ask questions. That means it can figure out the results you're most likely looking for, even if you don't type the exact words. So when a user enters, my laptop won't connect to Wi-Fi at home. Old school search would only match on things like Wi-Fi or laptop. But AI search recognizes, hey, this is a network connectivity issue. It surfaces the right troubleshooting article even if those words aren't exact. Here's why it's AI. It's not just matching keywords or following a dictionary of terms. It's using trained language models to make predictions about the most relevant results. And that matters because employees and customers can find answers faster. Agents spend less time digging through long lists. The organization reduces duplicate questions. And it's not just for IT, the same AI search powers HR portals, customer service portals, and internal knowledge bases, anywhere people are looking for answers. And before we wrap up, I wanna give a quick nod to another area where AI is beginning to make an impact, AI agents. Think of them as virtual coworkers. They don't just answer or predict, they can actually take action. That might mean pulling data, updating a record, or handling an entire conversation from start to finish. They're still new, but this is an exciting direction. I'm sure I'll be doing a future video diving deeper into AI agents. So those are the main ways AI is already showing up in ServiceNow. Now Assist generates. Predictive intelligence predicts. An AI search finds. And AI agents are starting to act. So here's the takeaway. AI in ServiceNow isn't just a bunch of hype. It's already starting to make a difference with how people work. That's why I believe that ServiceNow is such a smart platform to learn. It's not just keeping up with AI, it's leading the way in bringing AI into business workflows. If you're looking to start or grow a tech career, ServiceNow is one of the best places to begin. That's why I put together a free CSA study guide. It'll help you get up to speed quickly. You can grab it with the link below. And if you're serious about learning ServiceNow and passing the CSA exam, my CSA Masterclass and Prep Hub will walk you through all of the fundamentals step by step. That link's down below too. But I'd also love to hear from you. What do you think about AI in ServiceNow? Are you excited about it or skeptical or maybe a little bit of both? Drop your thoughts in a comment. I read every one of them. In the meantime, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.